Today, millions of smallholder farmers in different parts of the world live in poverty. How can their lives be improved? A common strategy is the commercialization of smallholder agriculture. The idea is that when farmers produce commercial crops, they can sell their products in the market. Their incomes will increase, poverty will decrease, and as a result, their lives will get better. Does this strategy really work? Research has shown that on a macroeconomic level, agricultural commercialization does indeed increase average income. However, when we look at the microeconomic level, we find increased incomes for some, but not for others. And more importantly, income is not everything. How about living standards, health, education? Are people satisfied with their lives? And can they live according to their own perspective of what a good life should look like? If we measure income only, we will not gain any understanding of these important dimensions of human life. With my research, I want to gain understanding of all these dimensions. This is why I combine three analytical approaches. First, I look at multidimensional poverty, measuring changes in living standard alongside health and education to see whether people's material living conditions have improved. Second, I compare people's life satisfaction today with their life satisfaction a couple of years earlier, before commercialization had occurred. Third, I go to the field and investigate people's perspectives, asking, what does it mean to you personally to lead a good life? And I inquire whether commercialization has contributed to the fulfillment of these visions. All this I do in two countries, Rwanda and Nepal. Currently, I am in the middle of my life. So let me conclude with a small glance of what I've already found in Nepal. There, commercialization did indeed lead to increased incomes and women, men, farmers and laborers told me that their lives had improved in the last couple of years. Interestingly, however, the reason they gave was not mainly the increase in income. Rather, in the view of the people I spoke with, life improved because people now face less hardship. Thanks to commercialization, people now have less mental hardship, fewer worries on how to make their daily living, and they also have less physical hardship because the production of the new commercial crops requires less drudgery as compared to the production of food crops. Yet, commercial agriculture is a risky business given fluctuating prices and sustainability issues. Measuring income is good, but measuring income alongside other indicators and including people's perspectives is much better. In this way, we can gain a holistic understanding of agricultural change.